Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on Module 4, Lesson 5. And today we're using our circular protractors that measure the number of degrees, 360 degrees around each one degree, one 360th of a circle. And we're going to be using this to do to measure a couple of angles. And we'll be, you know, we've already used in class our ability to use uh, some benchmark angles like 30 and 45 degrees in class today. Actually, the homework is a somewhat easier task. So let's take a look at a couple of problems from tonight's homework. Tonight's homework asks us in number one, let's see what it says. Identify the measures of the following angles. And we've got one here in uh, problem number 1A, where we've got this particular angle. And look, we can tell what angle they're asking about because they draw a little arc to tell us that they're looking at this angle right here. Now, that angle right there, we can figure out, we, we uh, can just count up. Let's see, this is 0 degrees right down here. We can just count right up. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 degrees. You can see the 60 right there underneath that protractor. And so this looks like a 60 degree angle. I would say we were pretty confident in that. That's a 60 degree angle. Um, but you could also use your benchmark angle protractors that you already uh, you already developed in class. And actually, if you plunked down one of those 30 degree angles, you would see it came up right here. And if you used it again, you would get to a 60 degree angle. So that's another way that we could identify it based on the tools that we used in class. But either way, we've got a 60 degree angle. Let's take a look at uh, problem number 1B. Now here we've got an angle right out to here. And again, there might be some confusion. Is it this angle or this angle that we're looking at? But we can always look at the arc that they've drawn. And here the arc goes all the way from this line, the line at the zero degree part of the protractor, all the way out here. So again, we can look out here and see that that is 130 degrees. And we could count our way up as well. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's in a bigger font because it reminds us that 90 is an important right angle. 100, 110, 120, 130, 130. So this is a 130 degree angle. That's all we've got. Now, I noticed that there's one other problem on the homework that you might want help with, but that's more of, um, of a sort of essay question. Uh, problem number two reads, if you didn't have a protractor, how would you construct one? Use words, pictures, or numbers to explain in the space below. That's not something that I can really help you with without giving away everything for the homework, so I'd like you to try that one yourself and see if you can answer that one yourself, as well as the other problems in number one. Thanks for joining me. This has been another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. See you again next time.